everybody. Let's see. everyone it's joy packard i was trying to do a live video a little earlier but my phone um was too my phone was too hot so it shut down <laughs> so i'm gonna try this again had to cool it down hey joe how you doing just got back from mexico as most of you know it feels like just yesterday that we left we had an amazing time and now we are home and i'm still have not got it out of my system where I need to be at a beach or some water. So today I am, I am watching grandkids today. And um, of course, you know, it's like my own kids. I have to tell them to not fight or to do this or to do that. So anyway, I um, wanted to share some thoughts with you today. You know, I always like to do that. And um, as they're on my mind, because I don't know whenever the, the um, thought will come back. <laughs> So today I, um, I wanted to share with you a little tip and something that I, I tell my kids whenever we are uh, trying to, to clean up or to get things done. One of the things that we talk about is um, starting in the corner. And I'll explain what that means. So, hey Andy, how you doing? The connection was bad earlier because... Um, my phone got overheated. We're in like 100 degree weather out here in Houston. So it just shut down. So I'm trying this again. So yeah, I'm out here with uh, some of these awesome grandbabies of mine. Or, um, let's see, four of the seven or four of the only four of the almost eight. <laughs> so <clears throat> I wanted to share a tip with you on starting in the corner whenever you're trying to get things done. And first of all, for those of you who are not on the early notification list, it pretty soon will not be early notification. It will be it's course time. So it's at simplesonseller.com and uh, S-I-M-P-L-E-Z-O-N-S-E-L-L-E-R.com. We'll put the link later on. One of the awesome things about that course, my course, is it has a bonus module section where it talks about mindset and getting things done. And so... One of the things I wanted to share with you today was something that I, I do whenever I'm trying to manage my own time or trying to get things done myself or to try to teach the kids on how to do that. And, you know, my kids told me that uh, whenever I, when on my grave, on my grave, it's going to say, um, one of the things that it's going to say is uh, start in the corner. And so starting in the corner, when I think about that, you know, I, I talk a lot about being overwhelmed because we do. We, we sometimes we get overwhelmed with the things that we're doing that we don't get them done at all, right? And so starting in the corner basically helps us to get things done by, I guess, getting our mindset and getting our mind in something to where we can get it done. I think that if we start in the corner, like in a room, like if your room is messy and you just are looking at your room and you're just like, man, this is, this is going to be so hard. This is going to be so hard to get done by starting in the corner. But if you, uh, I mean, by not, by not starting in the corner, you know, if you're going in and you're just, you know, randomly just getting, you know, working over here and then working over there and you're not like focusing, it's really, really hard to get things done. And so, um, hey guys, remember what I said? <laughs> I'm on grandbaby duty as well. So every now and then you will hear me talking to them. So, um. Yes, so when you start in the corner, it's almost like beginning on your list, just like we talk about. You have a list, you have things that you want to get done, and if you look at it as a whole, you know, for a long period of time, you kind of just like shut down and you kind of almost don't want to do it anymore. And so start in the corner and begin with the corner. And you pick one of those tasks, the small little task maybe that you can do. Like, you know, I'm just coming back from Mexico, so it's really, really hard for me to you know, come back to all the mail and all the different things that I have to get done. But if I start at the pool, no, I'm just kidding. If I start at the pool, then I can get things done. No, but really, like, if you, that's how you can do your list. And you look at your list, 
and you say, okay, what are the things that, you know, and usually when I make my list, I try and put the most important tasks first. And also I do, that's one method. And the other method is to um, pick the easiest thing. <laughs> yeah, Andy, it's much easier, right? So you pick the easy thing and then you can move down, right? And so it's kind of like, you know, for those of you who are on Amazon, if you look at everybody else around you and you look at all the different Amazon courses or the Amazon businesses that are out there and they're all doing these different things, it can get overwhelming. But if you start in the corner to basically where you begin, then it really, really helps. And so that's how Simples on Seller is going to be structured. It's very basic. It's going to basically, like I say, you know, have, you know, here's the actual website where you go to sign up for your Amazon account because even that can be confusing, right? If we try and simplify things in our life, then it becomes simple. It becomes a lot more simple. It feels like, you know, we can actually tackle that course. It's just kind of like in your room. If your room is a huge mess like mine, you know, I, I'm unpacking and everything. And I basically have a lot of things that I have to, you know, get done. But I'm starting in the corner. And that's what I'm trying to teach you guys today and to talk about. And that is that, is that, hey guys, what did I say? Grandbaby duty. <laughs> and so, um, you know, you have to um, tackle, do, you know, break up your small, your big tasks into small tasks. And basically start in the corner. I love, you know, I should make a mug or a shirt out of that. I'm going to actually, because that's how I live my life. And that's how I live. Like, you know, a lot of people ask me about outsourcing and that's another section that we're going to be talking about outsourcing in that section. And basically as we outsource, we can break down our tasks and then we can say, all right, you know, this is what I have to get done. And these are the ways I can get them done. And as you See it in your mind, see it on paper, see it on a mind map, or however it is that you see it. Start in the corner. And you, you know, you just begin with that task. And it's interesting because you begin with that task and then you finish it and then you move on to another task and so on and so on. And before you know it, you got your Amazon account set up, then you're making your first sale, then you're ramping up sales, and then you're moving on to other platforms. So, so cool. Taking things step by step. And so that's kind of how, you know, I, I um, teach my kids. That's kind of how I live, live my life. That's how my Amazon course that's coming out uh, is going to be. And um, we are very, very close. I, I did take a trip to Mexico that detained me a little bit. But hopefully in the next day or two, as um, I'm just spending some time with the grandkids today, because, you know, family is most important to me, way more important than making money. And that's the other thing, too, is setting your priorities. And that's in that section of the course that it will be talking about. It will help you to get your priorities straight. It will help you to figure out, you know, your why and to figure out what you really, really want. Because it's interesting to me how, you know, there's a lot of people in this world who make great money, but then once they make it, it's almost like they don't know what the next step is, right? But if you have everything in order and you have your why set up, what is my why? Why am I doing what I'm doing? then it almost makes everything else fall into place. Very, very interesting. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I just wanted to take a quick uh, moment because um, I was out here with the grandkids. I'm catching up on emails. I'm hoping tonight and in the next few days, I'm, I'm kind of losing my voice from coming back into Houston. There's some allergies going on. I feel like I have a, a scratchy throat. So, oh well, you know, still get that done the way that we need to. And I'm so, so excited to share this course with you. Not so much that it's the best thing out there, at least I think it is, and, but maybe some of you may say, oh, you know, there might be some others that are out there, and that's okay. But it's everything from my heart of what I've learned. And whether that's a lot or a little to some of you, it's no big deal. Uh, I said I would do it, I'm going to finish it. So excited to um, actually also have uh, the live event that goes along with it. And so that is going to be amazing as well. Um, talking about these things in lot, you know, I'm going to have a couple of speakers. I think uh, one last thing I'll say before I let you go, because it's getting uh, to be a little longer than I wanted. I have um, someone who's going to be talking to you about, you know, those of you who've been following going to Mexico and paying for um, Dallas hotels and flights and everything with travel points. I have a bonus webinar and a good friend who I met um, a year ago at a conference, but then re-met up with him in Dallas. 
And he has an amazing, amazing book that just came out. And it's all talking about, you know, using your points to travel. He has agreed to do a webinar with me. And um, he has agreed to um, basically talk about some of the things that he has learned. So it has changed my life. And I think it'll change yours once it opens your minds up because it's almost like, you know, instead of using your debit, use your travel rewards cards and then pay it off at the end of the month if you want to. It's all the same thing, but yet accrue those points. All right. Well, those of you, like I say, um, I'll, I'll punch it into the comments, the uh, link to the course, upcoming course. Also, there's a share button at the bottom of this video. A lot of you ask me a lot, hey, can I share your videos? And I'm happy to, for you to do it. I'm here on public Facebook and it's public information. And you are more than welcome to do that. So um, my also my business page is facebook.com slash Joy Packard Mompreneur. I'll put all those links in the comments, you know, for those of you who, who need those. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope that you are taking the time to do what you love and to do it often. It's not often that I always have my grandkids on, with me on a sunny day with a pool. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Later on, I'll be working on the course, catching up on uh, work that I've been, I've been um, gone from being in Mexico. So you guys take care. I hope you have an amazing, amazing afternoon.